Have you ever wondered what would happen if you mixed Mythbusters with The Walking Dead? We are Zombie Go Boom! Filmmakers and zombie survival enthusiasts. Using our scientifically accurate zombie heads, we put retail weapons, homemade weapons, and everyday objects to the test in order to see what will save you during the zombie apocalypse. Survive, protect, and kick undead ass. Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing episode of Z No! This is another episode of Halloween Monster Mash. On the last one, you saw Michael Myers get put owned with all of the stuff that he got owned with in his movies. Today is no exception, except our victim is Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. And we have weapons that injured him or killed him in the movie, starting with this freaking shovel, then this axe, then this rock, then this machete. This is going to be a lot of fun to find out what it's going to do in real life. I can't wait. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Let's get started. All right, now before we test this shovel, we got to figure out what kind of monster we're dealing with. For example, Michael Myers is basically just a human. Nobody ever said that he's anything but a human. Jason, on the other hand, he's a lot of things besides the serial killer. Sometimes he's just a human. Sometimes he's a zombie. Sometimes he's a demon. Sometimes he's his mother. Sometimes he's a world-class knife and axe thrower. And sometimes he's even an astronaut. That's true. Jason X. We don't know what he is, but one thing is certain. He is a monster, and he's gonna get mashed. mashed. And just in case you guys have been living under one of these, and you don't know what Zombie Go Boom is, or what these heads are, under this Jason mask is a Tim head. We make these ourselves. They are made of synthetic materials that best resemble the anatomy and scientific accuracy of a real zombie head. So if our tests work on this, they would work in real life. All right, this doesn't kill Jason in the movie, but maybe it should. He gets hit in the back of the head with the shovel flat. So, I don't know. Possible kill. Let's see what happens in real life. All right, so that would knock the crap out of you. You might get a concussion, you might get knocked out. Hell, it might even kill you if it caused enough brain damage inside of that cranial cavity. But it's not gonna break through the bone because all of that kinetic energy is being distributed across a broad surface area. If I were to use the edge, I would definitely get a kill. But flat, not so much. Also, because of the spherical nature of the skull, I was getting some serious deflection on impact and lastly I was getting some heavy heavy vibrations on my palms just from hitting the back of Jason's head so not so comfortable on my palms either way Jason might actually be able to keep going so we're gonna have to put him down and for that we're gonna use this axe this kill is at the end of part three Jason gets it with an axe through the mask into his forehead and it stays stuck there Pretty much a brutal kill. Let's see if we can recreate it. All right, now it's time for the axe to the forehead and we have a couple of questions. One, will Jason's mask save him from the axe to his frontal bone? And two, how hard do I have to strike to get through it? Because again, the harder you strike, the least accurate you are. So I'm gonna be giving him a medium, medium strength strike just to make sure that I get it right here. Alright, so as we can see, this is definitely a kill. We'll see how much whenever we take the mask off. But one thing I wanted to mention is the fact that the axe did not get stuck, which is a great thing because you get to keep your weapon afterwards. Alright, that's brutal. 
So not only did it cut right through the mask as you can see and it just messed this up which is actually metal but uh, it went deep deep through the frontal bone and that's definitely a kill there is no question about it it went straight through into the cranial cavity and bounced right out definitely a kill I mean even if you're a zombie I don't know if you're a demon if you're an astronaut definitely a kill if you're a mom yeah and if you're a knife axe thrower probably so the only thing that might save Jason is if he were a demon at this point everything else definitely dead all right, for this one, Jason's on the ground and he's getting pummeled in the face with a rock. I don't know anybody that could survive that, but he's a monster, so let's see if it'll kill him in real life. Even though I was hitting with this tiny point right here on this huge rock, the energy was being displaced throughout the entire mask and actually saving him. So I think that if you were to wear this mask and get hit in the face with the rock, you'd actually might live. This mask is actually pretty tough plastic. I don't know exactly what kind of plastic it is, but it's really resilient, except for when axes are involved. After we took the mask off, we noticed that some of the facial bones are actually broken, but not enough to keep Jason down. All right, next up is the machete. You see Jason get decapitated and, I mean, hit with this thing multiple times throughout all the series of, of all the Friday the 13th movies. So I'd say this one definitely merits a test in real life. So let's see if it'll actually kill a monster. All right, for this one, we're gonna take Jason's mask off because in the movie, Corey Feldman had taken his mask off before chopping him horizontally to the temporal and orbital bone. And it went in pretty deep and then it slid a little bit. So we're gonna see if we can recreate the same kind of thing. <laughs> Alright, I'm over six feet, okay, and in the movie, the, a little kid made that strike, and his strike was completely horizontal, and it got stuck in the side of the skull like that, right, and like I said, I'm over six foot, and it was really hard for me to try to keep the blade horizontal, okay, as you can see, it, it like, it went into the skull at sort of an angle, and I even, I even missed a little bit, but, and also the, the, the machete did not get stuck because the blade is so thin and it's curved so when you swing it just it just goes in and just slides right out so it's not gonna get stuck alright basically that strike would be a kill if you can pull it off but it's not gonna look like it did in the movies so let's go for the decap alright now we're back to part two of Friday the 13th before Jason donned that iconic hockey mask and before he took all those growth hormones because he wasn't a giant back then also, he did wear something, but it was basically a pillowcase with a hole in it, which might actually save him from a decapitation. You see, Charles, with this machete, would be easily able to cut off the head of a Tim or Ivan head. But with this added loose fabric, it's going to be very problematic. What do you think is going to happen? Um, I think that the 
machete is going to break the neck, but I don't think it's going to get through the flesh because of the fabric in the yeah. way. Yeah, it has to cut the fabric before it cuts the flesh, so it's going to be a very difficult strike. But if anybody can do it, it's this guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the problem here is how many layers does Charles have to get through? That's one, here's two, here's three, four layers of fabric, and then finally we get to the skin layer, which he cut all the way through the skin, all the way through the flesh, and then it was completely deflected by the C1 vertebrae right there. And you might be asking, C1, what happened? Shouldn't Charles have hit a little bit lower? Yes, but that's not really his fault. The problem is you can't tell where the neck is when there's fabric covering it. So he hit where he thought the neck was, ended up being a little bit high. Now he knows that the neck is actually lower than he thought it was because of the fabric covering it up. Are you ready to try it again? Yes. All right, let's do it. Question is, could Jason have survived that hit? Yeah, absolutely. Alright, so this is as close to a decapitation as you can get without cutting the entire head off. You see, there's no more bone holding the head. It's just flesh and skin. So if I take this knife and I just cut, that was it. Just flesh. No bone left. So, would that have killed Jason? Uh, duh. Alright, so what did we learn today? Well, we learned that a flat shovel strike to the back of the head may not kill you it's probably just a concussion then we learned that mask or not an axe strike to the frontal bone will definitely kill you obviously if you're human or zombie if you're a demon or an astronaut who knows <laughs> and then we tried a bunch of strikes with a rock to the face which is definitely survivable but you will probably have a lot of facial bones broken even if you're wearing a mask then we tried a machete strike to the temple slash orbital area and that was definitely a kill human or zombie and then we tried a machete decap with fabric over the head which is definitely a lot harder it will protect you a lot more and there is a chance you might survive it depending on how well placed the strike is it'll still hurt though absolutely yeah. if you don't go to the hospital Infection you yes at the very least you might just Lose too much blood you might uh, Die of shock shock it might actually break your neck if you want to be on the show and tell us your suggestion on what monster We should destroy on Halloween monster mash hit us up on our quickie and we will see it You can also comment in the description below, but we will probably most likely see it if you hit that quickie link below because we are checking all of those and it gives you an opportunity to be on the show because you're putting a video up there right more on quickie below click on that button please like share and subscribe love you guys i hope you enjoyed this episode and with another mind-blowing episode of no halloween monster mash i'm chuck murray I'm charles fultz and we will see you next time